what is Web3? Web1 was initially how the web got started. And at the beginning, it was mostly read-only. There were only a handful of pages, basically companies controlled, but they were mostly governmental agencies and stuff like that. So it was kind of read-only. You couldn't really create new content on Web1. In Web2, which is where we live today, which is the read-write web, there was an explosion of creativity. And those of you who lived in the beginning of this era, if you remember GeoCities, wow, that was an amazing explosion of creativity. You could create blinking text all over the place. But slowly over time, companies have basically taken over the content. So today, as users of this internet, we are able to create content, but we do not own it. Basically, huge corporations own that content. There is a centralization that's happened it's very, very hard to get rid of. It's not just a privacy issue, it is monetization issue as well. A lot of people are not able to uh, either make money from the content that they make or they have to share that profit. Web3 is the read, write, and own web. That's where the vision is. Instead of just creating, we are able to own or prove that we own. And we are able to show, and we are able to have provenance over the things that we control, which means uh, at the basic level, we can be our own banks, right? If we can have our own currency, so Bitcoin is, is the first example of you own the thing, nobody else owns it, for good and for bad. 